Good morning, everyone. My name is Hilba Khatun, and I'm the Regional Innovation Director at the Canadian Food Innovation Network in the Prairies. I am thrilled to be here today to introduce to you an exciting company in our region, BetterCard Analytics. BetterCard Analytics helps businesses make decisions with their cutting-edge software. Imagine a grocery retailer who wants to make sure they're pricing their products competitively and maximizing their profits. With BetterCard Analytics, the retailer can access real-time and historical data for every grocery product on the market. They can see their prices, compare to competitors, and make data-driven decisions. And that can actually lead to significant uh, profits in the pricing strategies. They also provide real-time and historical data for grocery products, which can help companies make informed decisions that lead to increased profits, improved operational efficiencies, and a better return on investment. So please join me in welcoming Melanie Morrison, CEO of Better Card Analytics. Thank you so much, Huba. It's wonderful to be here today with you. And as Huba mentioned, uh, my name is Melanie Morrison, and I'm the founder and CEO of Better Cart Analytics. Better Cart Analytics is a one-stop shop, competitive pricing intelligence solution for local and regional grocery chains and CPG brands. At Better Cart Analytics, we're helping independent grocers and CPG manufacturers make data-driven decisions with our automated AI competitive pricing intelligence platform. Importantly, the pricing intelligence that we provide to these customer segments is affordable, efficient, and easy to use. Now you might assume that all retailers and manufacturers in the grocery industry have cutting edge analytics in place to guide their pricing decisions and growth strategies. But this is not the case. Many rely on inefficient methods and remain data starved. Ultimately, these inefficient methods lead to errors, losses, and missed opportunities on a massive scale. And they sap companies' time, energy, margins, and competitive edge. So we're changing that. We're bringing innovation in price analytics technology to food and beverage processors, CPG manufacturers, and independent grocers. We're taking the narrative that Canadian food sector stakeholders should be okay operating without any pricing data and pricing intelligence, and we're changing that narrative. We're disrupting the status quo by helping companies digitally transform execute their pricing strategies, and unleash their competitive advantage. And we'll do that with our advanced dynamic price analytics and our competitive real-time hyper-localized intelligence. So what does our solution look like? Well, at BetterCart Analytics, we collect a massive number of grocery product records from all of the available pricing data online. And then we refine these product records through an autonomous data enrichment process. And then we track customers' competition through ML-driven AI that in turn allows us to surface competitive insights in an elegant and easy to use, affordable data platform. Take Sally for instance. Sally wants, Sally sells YoPlay yogurt and wants to know the pricing of Activia yogurt, a stiff competitor of hers in the yogurt market. With our price maps, Sally can see her competitors' pricing strategies across the country in a single screen. And to see regional pricing, Sally can further de-aggregate to look at a few provinces or a few cities at one time. And when Sally wants to do a completely deep dive, Sally can look at the pricing of Activia yogurt right at the store level. And on days when she wants to look at Activia yogurt 
at the banner level, she simply clicks on our banner option so she can see how all of the co-ops, all of the Save on Foods, and all of the real Canadian superstores are performing at the banner level for this single product. Sally is now getting real-time, hyper-localized price analytics that can, she can use to increase her competitive intelligence quotient, her sales volume, and her profit margin. In fact, better card analytics insights are so powerful that they can double retailers and manufacturers' profit margin within six to 12 months for the products they are tracking, and that amounts to phenomenal ROI. So why is the timing right for better card analytics at this moment? Well, because grocery is the largest non-digitized retail sector on earth. And because pricing is the number one driver of consumer purchasing behavior. And because 80% of independent grocers and 70% of CPG manufacturers operate without any price analytics at all. So with the Better Cart Analytics solution in mind, it is at this juncture that I wish to express what an honor and privilege it is to be here today on this stage, showcasing our Food Tech Next project to all of you, courtesy of CFIN. And now I'd like to tell you a bit about the project. So our CFIN funded project focuses on meeting the needs of our partners and involves the expansion of our price analytic and competitive intelligence feature suite through three interconnected phases. Phase one will offer a solution to a long-standing industry-wide problem, and that is having the ability to detect the difference between regular price products and sale price products. It really doesn't matter the size of the retailer's or manufacturer's enterprise, this is an issue that poses challenges across the industry when it comes to developing pricing strategies. So we'll be working very closely with our partners to identify the products that they want to have tracked and used in the training of our models. And these trained models will be able to detect the differences between regularly priced and promo priced products. At the culmination of phase one, our retailer and manufacturing partners will have an accelerated understanding of their competitors' pricing strategy and will in turn be able to enact their own pricing strategy with confidence and for significant material gain. Phase two, we'll be working closely with our, our partners in collaboration here and we'll start building a dynamic repricing system. To do so, we'll ask our partners to identify the profit margin that they expect their products to achieve. And in turn, we'll illuminate their competitors' pricing. Then we'll tell them if they can actually decrease the pricing of their products and stay within their profit margin expectations. We'll also be able to tell them if they should increase their profits if their, pro if their products are priced too low. So we'll be able to tell them how much they can raise their products by the price of their products by in order to achieve and reach and maintain or stay within and exceed their profit margin expectations. So at the end of phase two, our partners will have a technology in place that will help them make data-driven decisions and culminate in profit margin gains. Phase three of our CFIN funded project will focus on predictive modeling. And here we will use our vast historical price database of over five, that five billion product records. And at the culmination of phase three, we'll be able to tell companies what their products and, and um, others will be priced at in the future. So they'll have technology that will give them the data they need to anticipate, strategize, and market for additional profit margin gain and return on investment. So who are we seeking partners to partner with? Well, we're looking for independent grocers, we're looking for CPG manufacturers, and we're looking for food and beverage processors. And it doesn't matter the geographic region. You can be from any geographic region in the country, and your enterprise can be of any size. 
Our intention is to bring our technology to the over 82,000 independent grocers that are operating without any price analytics at all in North America, where independent grocers make up the fastest growing segment in the grocery industry in the U.S. at the moment. To the over 42,000 CPG manufacturers without price analytics, and to the over 16,000 food and beverage processors who are operating without data and pricing insights. Now we see new products courtesy of our platform introduced to the market every day. So we'll help you understand the market, we'll help you digitize and automate and increase your revenue. What does it take to partner with us? Partnering is easy. Um, it takes an expression of interest, a conversation. So please have one with me. Um, a few discussions the selection of your products and your known competitors, and then feedback through iterative conversation in order to help us drive the innovation forward on behalf of your enterprise. In terms of our CFIN uh, project timeline, phase one, our regular versus sale price detection will take place from now until June. Phase two, of our timeline, we'll, uh, the dynamic repricing and known value item notification system that we're happy to be building will take place from July until November 2023. And phase three, our predictive modeling phase, uh, tech installment here will run from December 2023 until April 2024. In terms of our go-to-market and validation, um, our, you know, this last year we have built strategic partnerships with Food, Health and Consumer Products Canada, the leading trade organization for manufacturers in the country, as well as Distributed Canada Inc., a leading association for independent grocers. As you can see there, our CFIN funded project aligns very well and maps onto nicely our broader commercialization strategy. So from Q1 to Q4 in 2023, we will be leveraging our strategic partnerships and we will be onboarding new CPG and independent retail partners. Uh, for Q1 through Q4 of 2024, we'll expand and reach more CPGs and grocers. And then in Q1 to Q4 of 2025, we will be taking our technology to the States. There we are. In terms of our leadership team, uh, as mentioned, my name is Melanie and I am the very proud um, CEO and founder of Better Card Analytics. Stephen Parslow is our uh, Better Card Analytics CTO. And together we have an amazing team of six core members as well as three new research assistants. Importantly, um, we have achieved gender parity with 54% of our team uh, being women identified and we are also a racio-ethnically diverse team with over 64% of our members being BIPOC. Our um, Better Card Analytics also is flanked by world-class advisors. Sylvain Charlebois is an internationally renowned grocery industry and food pricing expert. We have Gary Chan, who is the CTO of International CTOs and the AI lead at Venture Labs Accelerate AI in Toronto. Also at Venture Labs Accelerate AI in Toronto is Krishna Vampati, and he is a, he's a lead advisor for us on our product development side. From Saskatchewan, we have Jeff, Jeff Dick. He's the Director of Engineering at Siemens Digital, um, and he's been mentoring us from a very long time ago. Um, and then we have Max Schmeiser, also heralding from Saskatchewan, who is the VP of Ads, Content, and Data Science at Netflix. We are Better Cart Analytics, the most comprehensive price analytics and competitive intelligence solution for independent retailers and SME CPG manufacturers. We're helping companies digitally transform, execute their pricing strategies, and unleash their competitive advantage. Thank you so much.